Hopefully this is recording me now. Um, microphone was mute a minute ago. Um, did a little bit of work. I wanted to get um, kind of like these large planetoid um, station type things in the background. They're probably not going to let a player get much closer than what I'm showing right now. This is in the editor, but uh, for those of you that know, there are things in Godot that allow um, scripts to run. So the script is uh, pretty simple for this one. It's just uh, rotating. That's all. Nothing fancy. But the different layers of the uh, sphere are rotating. Uh, there's some material on the sphere, and it originally was a, a specialized combination of noise maps that were applied to a sphere in Blender, extruded, sliced, cut, a little bit of alpha cutting, and some tricks to make it look like junk. So this might be considered the giant early stages of the junk that created the junk in the area. I have to get in and do some more work to it, but um, it's the uh, the parent of the junk. <laughs> Uh, there's a tool called JS Placement that allows you to generate 8K textures. And obviously 8K is a little bit too much for this, so I chopped it down. Um, I might look at making the high, super high resolution version later, but we'll see. Uh, there is a particle cloud emitting from the center of it that gives this energy sort of bloom. I don't know if you can see a sort of blue, blue cloud. Um, yeah, there we go. But this is right now fixed in the scene. Later it will be um, offset relative to the camera, so the player is not really going to be able to get too close to it. What it'll be is it'll be a percentage range of, of we'll say, total level size. So the player theoretically could boost all the way to it, but nah, it's not really intended for the player to get too close than this. It's just supposed to be huge. So what does that look like? Well, in-game it looks pretty much like this. I'm just going to pick a fun color here. Uh, maybe a little more bright green. And uh, there. So, in the engine, it's pretty much the same sort of thing. The only thing is, in the engine, the rotation starts at the, the, initial, um, the initial settings of the thought. So, let's see, I'm going to sit still for a second here and line up. To be able to see the outside is rotating in one direction and the inside is rotating in the other. Yep. Ever so slowly. For the most part, like now, if you're zipping around and flying, doing things, oh, I'm going to get a little bit of stutter here. I got to uh, do some things to the shaders to make it so that that doesn't happen so much. But uh, for a split second in GLS, GLES 3, when a shader first pops into the scene, it loads kind of dynamically, and I want them to load ahead of time. So there are a few things that kick in and um, make a quick stutter sometimes when you fly around the back of this. Whoa. So we're on the back side of this big beast. And it is moving. There we go. It's kind of big. It's meant to be kind of big. I had some uh, thoughts about using some other colors. And uh, what I might do is pop back to the editor and we might have a play with some of those other colors here in a second. But uh, it would kind of had more of the machinery parts. It's kind of might be considered what was responsible for all the little little machine particles. I think the fog around it is a little bit too too intense. Let's just boost away here. And then do a full stop and turn. going to reduce this and we're going to um, find its material. This is a planet core material so 
lower the output and uh, the center of the core is this so I can change the internal color if I wanted it to be like a red hot kind of planet type thing I could go like that uh, I can probably even boost the red like that if I wanted to I can even I can even throw more energy at it now it's emitting fairly strong I don't know if you can see that let me just put the energy here let me put it at 100 so it's now emitting like red red light so the bloom be quite strong you get up close you can see the details see the red isn't too bad either except the fog particles are the wrong sort of color for red this is built for a blue violety blue let's go into a deep blue like uh, right around there deep to icy blue I'm not sure I think that might have been what we had to begin with so all of those colors um, oh I've given a lot of energy let me see what that looks like in a second here the uh, nebula anchor the particles are a little bit too big it's just my opinion I, I'm probably wrong but uh, where I'm building this world it's up to me all right so we've made some particle changes we made some changes to the world Let's have a look and see what this looks like. Uh, in the engine. Ooh, that guy spawned awful close. Yeah, big electric blue planet. It's pretty close to the first blue, I think. Except it's it's uh, with the energy high, it's actually able to emit light into the particles. That blue core in the middle is actually emitting light now see if I can boost away stop and then spin back yeah, the red parts the red parts in the texture of course are pink I need to get some distance away from it rotate back around yeah yeah I need to change the color on the um, Need to change the color on that, I think. Hmm. Kind of looks big pink bubblegum. Interesting to see what red looks like. Um, planet center. a hot red yeah maybe up the color value hot red there you go and the particles um, they have a material here somewhere oh here it is we can barely see it uh, let's move there Let's move them to a kind of red glow. I don't like that. Let's try that. Yeah. Let's see how this looks. <laughs> it's pretty spectacular, actually. You kind of get the idea that it's warm. Let's go to the other side of the rocks here. Hmm, almost I hit something. There we go. I definitely hit something there. And the boosting should have 
Let me go. Okay, let's try not to hit something this time. Okay. I'll stop. There it is. Yeah, the fog is a bit too strong. Yeah, this outer glow here, the fog might be just a bit too strong. Not bad though. And uh, it's far away. Can we see if it's moving? We gotta come to a full stop for that. Uh, full stop, please. There we go. So if we can line something up. Rotations don't occur when you're this far away. Oh, ah. my bad. I was looking for rotations on a particular axis. The rotation axis is this way. You're rotating. side is moving very slowly. Um, this is just really a big layered ball. I'm going to do a pass that's probably not ever going to be possible in the game. I'm going to fly through the bits. to look like bits and bobs of stuff loosely held together. I might have to make something a little more cohesive. But, you know, it's gone a little bit longer than I intended. But if you're still watching, uh, you're probably interested in this kind of stuff. So anyhow, thanks for watching and uh, hope you like it. And I'll uh, catch you in the next video.